Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon ZFC and Nikon Z5. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon ZFC and the Nikon Z5 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 29th of June 2021 and the 20th of July 2020. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon ZFC. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon Z5. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon ZFC and the Nikon Z5. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon ZFC. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon Z5. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon ZFC. The Nikon ZFC is a modern interpretation of the Nikon FM2, but lacks the metal construction and tactile feel. The touchscreen and Bluetooth have usability issues, and the F-mount adapter is expensive. Despite these drawbacks, the camera produces great photos and is a joy to use, with excellent face-eye focus tracking. I ultimately decided to keep it over the Z5 and have found myself using it over other cameras. The ZFC camera is a joy to use, especially for someone like me who grew up learning photography on cameras with knobs and lens rings. However, the must-have accessory is a grip like the one from SmallRig, as the camera lacks a back grip, making it easy to accidentally mash buttons when picking it up. With the grip, the camera is much easier to handle. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon Z5. The Nikon Z5 is a great camera for those looking to step up from entry-level DSLRs. It has a solid build, good image quality, and reliable autofocus. While it may not have all the advanced features of the Z6II, it's a dependable option for the photography journey. However, it's not the best choice for professional-grade video. I have been using Nikon cameras for years, and I recently bought the Z5 as my travel camera. I have found that only the listed flashes will work with it, as Nikon has put flash controls in the camera. This is different from their DSLRs where aftermarket flashes and triggers would work. So, if you are considering a Z camera, make sure to pay attention to what flashes will work. Despite this limitation, I am still keeping my D4 and D850 for other purposes. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon ZFC we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Nikon Z5, we will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. 